Thank you, Peyton. Hands-on learning that teaches critical thinking and practical skills. That is the promise from the new Rono College dual enrollment lab school called Explore at RC. Today we're sitting down with the Explore at RC Executive Director. We have Natasha Watts with us, as well as the Education Department Chair over at Rono College, Lisa Stoneman. Ladies, welcome to the show and congrats on really pursuing this new endeavor at the school. Thank you. Yes, We're this is a excited. big deal. I know, very exciting. Um, and it sounds like a wonderful opportunity for students really across the Commonwealth. So uh, Natasha, if somebody says explore at RC, I'm not sure what that is. How would you describe this lab school experience to somebody watching at home? So it is an on-campus dual enrollment experience for students in the 10th to 12th grade throughout the Commonwealth. Um, and we are inquiry-based, immersive learning. All of our classes are hands-on. They're really meant to engage students and excite them about the possibility of going to college. Yeah, and it gives them that experience kind of on the, the earlier end of yeah. things too. So Lisa, being able to see these young people come onto campus and have a really a college experience while they're still in high school, what does that do for them and kind of their growth? One of the things we see in freshmen I mean, we've been dealing with those for a long time, yes. is that they're not what we call college ready sometimes. Yeah. Um, they still have a lot of growing to do in owning their own experience and figuring out that they are actually running their learning. They have to engage, they have to finish assignments, they have to keep their time. They have to do things um, like communicate with their professors in professional ways that they may not be used to. There's nobody guiding that for them anymore. So I think one of the main things is just learning that they do control their own learning environment. And that's a really exciting thing, but it's also scary. Absolutely, and it's a skill I think everyone has to learn because there's not that hand-holding that you get maybe in some of your primary, like primary education. So um, being able to be part of this new lab school experience, Natasha, this is something you've been working on for a while. <laughs> um, how are you guys feeling, get it gearing up, and what skills do you hope uh, students take away from this? What will they be doing on the day-to-day? -day? So on the day-to-day -day, they're actually going to be mostly going to class, going to lab. Uh, in between those we actually have professional development sessions geared towards how to college, yeah. <laughs> so to speak. Um, they're going to be spending time uh, getting their assignments done. We have like a, a dedicated space within our library so students can come and they can work and they can have tutoring services um, because we want them to be very successful. Mm -hmm. Not just a little bit, we want them to actually be <laughs> successful. Yes. Always. So that's kind of like part of that process. I think that's really fabulous too, that you're making sure that everyone comes away with a good experience through this as well. Um, being able to be uh, a lab school that is offering this in person, I think is pretty unique and pretty special. Lisa, talk to me about the importance of having the students on campus in particular. I think the on campus piece is so important because it lets them see themselves in this college environment. It's not something they're doing online at home or in their high school and kind of beaming in. They're actually there with other college students. They can see the similarities between themselves and those students who are already successful. They can make friends with those folks and actually get some peer mentoring things going on where they kind of, they learn from those folks that are already there. They figure out, you know, how to navigate and I think navigating a different campus than the one you're in high school with is, is very important and it adds to that skill set you have where you're confident now. Mm -hmm. I'm confident, I've tried something new, it's working out, I'm being successful in class, but I'm also being confident socially. I love like that. They can, they can roam around, they can go eat with the other students, they can go and sit in the coffee shop and study. Um, learning how to, to navigate that whole different environment is really important. Yeah, confidence is key, and I think it's something even as adults we need to keep reminding ourselves of and keep learning how to be confident as well. Um, so when it comes to this program, you're still accepting some applicants, right? There's an upcoming deadline, August 1st. What would you say to somebody who says, okay, I think my student might be a right fit for this type of lab school experience? I would say email us at explore mm -hmm. um, at roanoke.edu and start that application process. Um, I'll send you the courses that we have for this fall term slated. You can review those, see if they fit your students' needs and wants, and then we kind of go from there. It's a really organic process as it stands now because it is our pilot year and we are building a few things to be a little bit more fluid, 
Um, but that's the process to get started. Yeah. And the deadline is <coughs> August the 1st. Excellent. Okay, and that deadline is coming up. If you want more information, there's a URL address, but explore at roanoke.edu is a great resource to send an email or maybe even give them a call too. Um, Lisa, any final words as somebody who's overseeing the education department and all that stuff um, for families who might be a little worried about big transitions for their students? Yes, uh, we're very excited about welcoming the students and we have every safety net in mind. We are going to really take some, um, a little bit more action than we would with a college freshman to make sure they're guiding themselves in the right direction, to give those supports, to scaffold those experiences, make sure they have tutoring available, make sure they have just study schedule available if that's what they need. Mm -hmm. We're gonna interact with them on a much more regular basis than your average college student will get. No one will fall behind. No and one I will fall that's behind. That's a great message too. Um, well, what an awesome opportunity. It's available for students across the Commonwealth. So if you're still interested, this could be right for you. So ladies, thank you so much. We'll put all the information online on WDBJ7.com. Best of luck with this pilot year. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, all right, stay with us on Here at Home. Some students are preparing to pack their bags for freshman year of college. We sit down with the Better Business Bureau to help you prepare for that transition and avoid any financial financial misstep.